factor. And uh, we are all uh, trust agents online. I'm not s stealing from Chris. I think it was, he, he stole it and wrote a great book about it. We are developing ourselves as trust agents. So now with, uh, 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 I was reading something on uh, Gen Y, under 30s, uh, the number of uh, trust for peer-to-peer -peer recommendation for them is now 80%. So, what that means is that as a company, you have to be an entity that is uh, more human than business. So the value of humanizing who, you know, who you are and what your company is. So if you care about something, then add that to your mix. But again, in a palatable, consumable, non-offensive, and not overly repetitive way. I have some friends that are very, very into uh, you know, saving animals and protecting animals. And uh, I think it's very, I, I value them for that. However, I also have some that overpost it. So it becomes to be, you know, I, I, I don't want to see that image anymore. Um, because it's a little too much. Again, it elicits an emotion. We don't want to cheapen that emotion that, that we're trying to get somebody to feel to get them to sign up for you know the Red Cross or donate blood or whatever it may be. We want to compel people to action without abusing their feelings. What are your thoughts on this? I totally agree. That's when you go in and you change it from most posts to only most important ones, right? Which I've been doing a lot for some people that have repetitive posts, mm -hmm. like over and one guy um, in Turkey, all these pictures of children over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't delete them, but I, I only his most important posts. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to happen to you if you have too many of the same thing. I know you may be passionate about something, yeah. so you have to throttle that back and think in terms mm -hmm. of your audience your audience and if it say it were something you don't care about measure how much of it you would like to have on something you don't care about does that make sense that's how much you should give your audience yeah. it's also kind of like you make an assumption sort of maybe dangerous but that the people you're connected with are similarly compassionate in the mm -hmm. same way you are mm -hmm which probably implies that they already have one or more causes mm -hmm. that they focus on. Mm -hmm. They may look at yours with slight interest, mm -hmm. but, geez, I'm already doing this. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you hammer that, that they're not interested in again and again, you get what, you, you know, mm -hmm. you get your post not read. Very true. And uh, if if I want you to be more interested in my cause, then I need to promote your cause. Exactly. So if you put yours out and I share it out on my business wall and say, you know, help, you know, whatever this whatever is, is, save the whoever, whatever, mm -hmm. then I don't expect that you're going to return the favor, but there's a chance that you will. So I'm earning cash by respect. celebrating somebody else's cause. Right. Right. I have a lot of people <clears throat> on the pages that I manage that I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do not know them. Mm -hmm. They're friends of friends. Mm -hmm. And so if I think about that, I don't know what their cause is yeah. and how they feel. Yeah, you, it, it's very hard. And when you get a big audience, uh, it's very hard to know. You, you need to come back to a lot of this that we're talking about today, not specifically this, but some of these topics, because your audience, uh, it, you've got to hit a broader swath of what interests them versus that micro content uh, that may, may only interest, you know, a one percent of your audience. Right. You want to hit the big, the big picture items. Funny or makes you smile. I hate that this picture, you can't really see it, but uh, there's spit coming out of that, slobber coming out of the dog's mouth, and it looks like the cat uh, side kicked him in the head, and uh, that is funny. 
Cat Norris. Uh, that, that's a funny picture. So people love funny. Um, they are uh, compelled by funny. They will come back to funny. They will share funny. <laughs> funny pictures and videos uh, can be a very viral. But we have to be very careful with funny because sometimes our flavor of funny uh, can be off-putting uh, to others. So you have to temper that. With a lot of this content, I would suggest that within this audience that you talk about it. We talk about it together. We say, hey, I put this post out. What did you guys think about it? To give a, 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 my sense of humor, I know this, my sense of humor would not be palatable to even all of you guys <laughs> because oh, I have an edgy sense of humor. When in doubt, stick to funny cats. It's when in doubt, stick to funny cats. Uh, <laughs> so within that, I need to I need to use the tool, but I need to do it in such a way that it doesn't abuse my audience. So I may need to bounce it off of some of the folks in this group. And I need to be okay with you saying, mm, that, one, that one made my that made me a little nervous, yeah. you know? Well, and also remember you can uh, target who is going to see that post. Yes you can. So I do that all the time with my old high school friends or family or I have all these different lists and um, I target them but I only target Tucson people for certain things yes and I try to keep it separate and then I've got my political list so mm -hmm. I don't ever <laughs> post anything political though I'll like people Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Lists well, are... I can't dislike some of them, but you know, it's, probably, <laughs> it's probably fortunate. Friends lists are a, a great way to control who sees your mm -hmm. content. So you may have a lot of flavors. You have a lot of layers to the onion that you are. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't just share them blanketly with everyone. Mix it up and who you connect with. Button. Don't like. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen it on t-shirts. wish there was a no like button. Yeah. There's yeah. t-shirts. I'm glad there's not though because it, it keeps oh, it, it keeps feeling. the, um, it keeps it a friendly and positive. So surprising. Things you didn't know. People love to discover new things that they didn't know. I didn't know that there were mirrors on the moon and the astronauts left them so the labor, laser beams could be bounced off them from the earth. Did you know that, Sheree? Is that true? I didn't know that. I did not check it on Snopes, but I believe it. I want to believe it. Yeah, I want to believe it. <laughs> no, I've heard it from the scientists. Yeah, it makes sense, and th this literally is a real image, and uh, that is hard mounted to the ground. So, why not? Something surprising. That makes sense. Um, so, it, the thing being to discover something that you don't know, uh, something surprising, something. Uh, Again, uh, revealing and informational. People love valuable information that, uh, about things they didn't know. And sometimes unvaluable information <laughs> about things they didn't know. <laughs> Never give up! Uh, so uh, here you've got all of these uh, mongooses on a cobra. Uh, never, 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 never give up. Uh, Winston Churchill. So uh, this is a very, uh, as well, compelling uh, emotional, hey you made my day kind of post. I was having a crappy day. Thank you for posting that. I feel so much better. You see that kind of comment on this kind of a post a lot. I had a rough night. Thank you. This really kick-started my day. Um, again, don't abuse it. Don't overuse it. Keep it occasional. Put it into your calendar and schedule. I have a quick question. Yes, sir. I, I'll be honest with you, I'm still wrestling with that. <laughs> I know the Cobra's going to lose this fight. Yeah. I know that it's going to lose the fight. Maybe it's that the Demongos is that they knew that it takes, you know, 10 takes, animals or 20 yeah. animals. So they tried this before, they know. They <laughs> takes a team. That sounds like a story to me. <laughs> David versus Goliath. People love David versus Goliath stories. Uh, so. Almost every one of these uh, is very strongly communicated with image, but I think in context of video on almost every one of these categories. David versus Goliath. You go back even to the, you know, some of the uh, uh, Susan Boyle and some of those videos that were like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that voice came out of that human being. And it's just all, of, you know, that compelling David versus, how could they possibly be this famous now? 
and it was all because of a show and that's a 